Hey guys, my name is PoiTB. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to set up a GunBot XT version 7.0.2, a stable version or the Xmas version with the GunTeach UI. Now I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded the GunBot uh, XT version 7.0.2. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and unpack that. So now basically once you download, just double click on your file that you downloaded. And um, I'm going to use desktop as my my main um, my main screen. Look, if you, something does, it, it, if you don't have WinRAR, it's okay, don't panic. As long as you unzip it and you just drag and drop it, and that's it. You know, you have a file package open up there. I'm going to close it. You actually don't need this file anymore. Um, so I'm just going to show you and chuck it in the bin. Uh, that's really all I need. I'm going to go open up GunBot. But before I run this thing, you need to go to the Windows and then type in Firewall. So you you got two choices here, but you, what I want what I want you to do is click on Windows Firewall with Advanced Security, right? Now I have already set up mine and everything, um, but I'm going to show you how, what to do what you need to do here. So once you open it up, click on Inbound Rules and then click on New Rules. When you click on New Rules, click on Port, you press Next. Personally, this is how I do it. Uh, it's up to you how you want to do yours, but this is mine like that. So I set up my between 3,000 to, uh, to 3,200, 5,000 to 5,200 and then click next and then from here just rename it, I'm just going to type it delete um, so you can do whatever you want, I already have two so now once you're done you just click X but in this exercise I'm just going to, just in case I will forget I'm just going to go ahead and delete my one but for you just make sure you leave it on there, just close it and it's good to go next thing you need to do just double click on Gunty GUI now, uh, it's basically asking you to go type in localhost, comma, 5000. Now, um, whatever the browser you use, uh, it's up to you. We're just going to go ahead and type in localhost 5000. Once it comes up on the screen, you're going to create a password. In this case, I'm just going to test, uh, create a password, say ABCD. And then press enter. I'm going to press it again because it's just login. Uh, once you get to this screen, I look, if you're fresh, um, fresh, uh, first, first time installer or fresh, uh, just click continue without import. In fact, you don't even have to click that button. You can just click on settings. It will take you to pretty much the same page. The next thing you need to do, you're going to be adding a, um, the key, the, uh, the exchange, uh, the API key for the exchange that you purchased from. So in this case, I got a, uh, a, a test one, a Bittrex one. So now I want you, go, you to go ahead and copy that. But please note, look, so have a look at this. Bittrex actually created a space at the, at the back. So when you paste it in, just make sure there's no space whatsoever. Um, right now there's no space. It looks pretty good for, to me, or for me. Uh, I'm going to grab, grab my this secret code as well, pop it in. And then uh, you, what you need to do here, you have, you have to click on master key. Okay, when you do master key, it will generate a master key in there plus the normal key as well. At the same time, you click add and that is done. So once you have your key up and running at the bottom, Personally, I usually kind of glance through the bot just to make sure everything looks good. First of all, I make sure the wash mode is not on. The wash mode basically just means it will just be watching. The next thing I kind of look at is a clear cache. Just make sure it's set to. The rest, kind of leave it as it is. Um, I don't really touch it at all. This pretty much is reflecting what's on the top here. I am AP listening. That's for the um, trading view. Uh, this one is just going to be a, a tutorial on how to set up a gun bot with a GUI, so pretty straightforward. Next thing I go to strategy. Um, you can come in here and change strategy as you want, but for now I'm just going to get it up and running ASAP. So I will just go up to the top and then click on setup. I'm going to click on new setup. Uh, and for example, uh, I'm going to add like say XRP and NEO kind of thing in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Bittrex, uh, which is the exchange I set it up earlier. In here you can call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call it ABCD just because. And in here you have to type in the the current the market currency like exactly like this so whatever the front one is going to be your main primary currency so if you uh, plan to use usdt as a main trading uh, use that at the front or eth at, um, at the front and in this case I'm just going to use btc i'm going to add it in uh, for now i'm just going to use emotionless because it's easier strategy for any noobs or any new people to come into the into the gun bot I click on add pair, I'm going to add, like, that's basically, guys, it's the one pair added, just like that, done. Next one, I'm going to add Neo, done. Uh, I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to add, say, 5 ETH, 
I don't know if press center works. Yeah, ETH work. ETC. Make sure everything in capital. LTC. Uh, what else can think of? Uh, salt. Um, by the way, this is not recommended. I'm just from top of my head here. Uh, BCC, which is Bitcoin Cash. Um, I'm just going to click add and see if it works. It should work. So Bitcoin Cash in Bittrack, use the code BCC. But you, if like you go to use Binance, it's actually BC Hash. So just be careful on what you use there. Uh, Qterm. Actually, you know, for now, I think I have enough pairs going on here. So we've got three, four, five, six, seven. Three, five, six, seven. Looks good to me. I'm going to run seven pair. I click on create. And that is done. Then you go to dashboard. And then under the dashboard, I click on preview. Uh, that just gives me like an overview on pretty much everything that we should kind of set it up just now. And then I click run bot, run gun bot. By the way, this is my first time uh, running on this Bitrex key. So I'm, I have no idea whether it's going to work or not. So I'm kind of like, you know, new with you here. So when you see the screen, it's a good sign. What it means is you have a Gandhi.exe running in the background for you. And now it's say instead instead of saying it's running, it's now saying stop, which is good. Gonna scroll down. Um, don't worry because I actually have like this is my old Adiada account, so it already has been some trading before. But anyway, you can see that um, my API key is actually working. We couldn't get a bot price on you. <laughs> Yeah, so for example, if you already have some sort of pair running beforehand, um, it would just run. Like you can see here, profit and loss for this ETH is this this much percentage. This is just, by the way, this is my manual account, so not GunBot account at all. Um, it's my first time trying it out just to see if it works, and it, work, it seems to be work, working great. I like it. The API is working. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, there's no error log, which is great. I like that. Um, for example, and you go, you know what? Now I want to go and change my strategy. You you can turn it off, stop it, and apply chain, stop it, and then restart it again. Or you can just go to ABCD, the setup that you created, and I want to change say XRP to TSSL. For example, right? You want to change the strategy from um, from uh, emotionless to SSL, TSSL. You click on that. You click update. Once you get the little notification on the right hand side. Scroll up to the top, click dashboard, click on apply, changes. Now Gunbot will just flash quickly. That pretty much means you know it's kind of updated. Uh, and there we go. Now it's it's changing. Um, you will see that the knee. Oh, was it Neo? I think it was XRP. I'm pretty sure it was XRP. Let's just go in and have a quick look. Um, I'm pretty sure it was XRP. The first one XRP is changed to CSS TSSL. Great stuff. I'm going to scroll down and show you what it looked like differently if there is a different one. So right now BTC is saying NEO and ETH. ETH is working its way. This is using Emotionless. So everything just simple. Very, very simple screen. ETC. And by the way, guys, this game, same thing goes with uh, if you decided to remove the pair or add a pair, we just add it onto this. Pretty, pretty straightforward. I'm just going to wait for the XRP. Hopefully it will show me a different screen because we are now using uh, a strategy that are more advanced, way more advanced than just a typical um, emotionless one. And I think next one is our now. So we've got BCC salt, that's about seven. And the next one should be XRP and then I will wrap up the NEO. Okay, ETH, XRP is not coming up. Somehow, sometimes just kind of like got to let it let it happen. Let me just gonna scroll down and see what, if there's anything happening here. Okay, <laughs> so this is good, by the way, guys. Like you, you kind of like need to understand and have a look around to make sure that everything's working for you properly and how it should be before you kind of like move on and 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 see what's going on. So round three, Neo is already working. Um, XRP is not up and running. I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm just going to stop and then just going to have a look at the uh, setup I did. I'm going to delete everything for now just to show you. Like again, you know, this is kind of like you got to do this and just making sure that everything's running properly. Uh, strategy SSL it looks fine for me. Click update. Click dashboard. I'm just gonna run just one strategy alone to see what's going on and see 
if there was any error coming up for the XRP. <coughs> a lot of people will ask me like, hey, you know what, what's, what's the best strategy to use? Um, TSSL does a pretty good job at selling, but it's not as good for buying. So you kind of need a different strategy for buying and need, need a different strategy for selling. Um, some people use step gain. Step gain is also a good strategy for buying and selling as well. So you can use combination of both. And that's what the be beautiful part about GunBot. But that's pretty much how um, the GunBot work. Um, just waiting for the things to work really here. Um, for now, I'm just going to wrap up the video. And if there are any questions, let me know. Um, and speak to you soon.